Welcome to the Rai Quiz! It's a Pokemon trivia game that could enter you into the Hall of Fame! Please welcome your host, the one and only Rai Quinn! What's up, Interweb? Rai Quinn here, and welcome to episode number 24 of the Rai Quiz. We're drawing very close to the end of season one of the Rai Quiz, and today's competitor is Connor WTK1, or just Connor. Say hello. Hi guys, I'm Connor WTK1. Howdy. Yeah. So, Connor is the competitor today. The format for you today, Connor, is there's going to be five questions with 30 seconds to answer each question. You're allowed one hint that you can use any time through the first five questions. Just say the word hint or clue. The timer will freeze. I'll read out the hint. Once I finish reading it out, the time will start again. If you manage to get three out of five questions right, then you win yourself one Pokemon out of the giveaway box on my copy of Pokemon X. If you manage to get five out of five questions right, then you win yourself two Pokemon out of the giveaway box. If you get three or more questions right, we'll go to the bonus question, and what this allows you to do is, if you get it right, you get to choose which Pokemon you win. If you don't get the bonus question right, then you still win the Pokemon, but it was just going to be random. If you manage to get all six questions right, so the first five and the bonus question, then you get inducted into the Rikwiz Hall of Fame. And we are, this is the penultimate episode of Season 1, and still, no one is in the Hall of Fame. So, Connor, is today the day someone goes in the Hall of Fame? I would hope so. You would hope so. That's a positive sign, I guess. Um, so, your theme for today, Connor, uh, what, what are you hoping for? What would be a good theme for you? Um, I don't know, really. Um, maybe, like, ghost types or something. Alright, cool. Ghost types. Um, what would be, like, a bad theme? What, what, what would you, like, not want at all? Uh, towns. Towns. Or 6th well, gen. 6th gen would probably be my worst. 6th gen, okay. Um, so, your theme for today then, Connor, drumroll please, is Kanto. Kanto, alright. Kanto. So, you familiar with Generation 1 games? You, did you play them a lot and all that? Or? Uh, that was actually one of my first video games, and I actually have an LP on my channel. Ah, nice. nice. That's Playing cool. Through That's good. Um, so, Kanto is your theme. This, this should, should be okay, should be okay. So, if you don't have any questions, we are good to go. I'm good. I don't have any questions. Awesome. So, let's do the right quiz. Here we go with question number one. Remember, you have your hint because everyone seems to forget that. So, here we go with question number one. Where does the SS Anne harbor in Kanto? Vermilion City. Vermilion City is correct. Yes, it is. Spot on, spot on. Yep, in Kanto it is Vermilion City, and in Johto it's uh, Olive Line City, I believe. Um, yeah, spot on. So, one out of one. All nice. good so far. Still got your hint. Here we go with question number two. What is underneath the game corner in Celadon City? Team Rocket Hideout. Correct. Team Rocket Hideout is absolutely spot on again. Yep, you have to find that switch behind the poster in the game corner, which is ridiculous but whatever um yeah team rocket hideout is absolutely right with an awesome theme as well by the way the song that plays in team rocket hideout is amazing so I like the the songs. indeed Pretty cool they are um so you're on two out of two which is awesome so if you get the next question right you've already won yourself one pokemon awesome nice still got your hint intact so all, all is good there so right. here we go with question number three which is the only electric Pokemon that can be caught in Viridian Forest? In Viridian Forest, only electric type Pikachu. Correct, yeah, Pikachu is correct. Yep, Pikachu, that, that's the only place you can catch. That's not true, you can catch Pikachu in Viridian Forest and in the power plant. Those are the only two places you can catch Pikachu. Yeah, and the mm. only electric type in Viridian Forest. In all incarnations of Viridian Forest, whether in red and blue, yellow, or uh, in like the gold and silver, or fire and leaf green, hot gold soul silver, it's the only electric Pokemon you can ever get in Viridian Forest. So, anyway, that was a slight tangent. Um, so, which means you've got three out of three, which means guaranteed you won yourself one Pokemon today. Nice. Awesome. So, you've still got three out of three, which means we've got three questions left, you get all these next three questions right, you're in the Hall of Fame. So we've got two more questions left and then the bonus question. So here we go with question number four and you still have your hint intact. So here we go, question number four. In which city can the old amber be obtained? 
I want to say Cinnabar. No, town? keep going. Uh, Pewter City. Pewter City is correct. Yeah, it's in the uh, in the fossil museum thing in Pewter City. Yeah, around the back, you need to cut to get in and get the old amber, which gives you Aerodactyl, which you can revive in Cinnabar Island. You were close with that one. Um, yeah, absolutely spot on. That's four out of four, which means you get this next question right. You get five out of five. You win yourself two Pokemon. Okay. You still right. got your hint, and remember, you can't use a hint in the bonus question. So if you don't, right. if you don't use your hint here, then you can't use it pretty much. Um, so here we go with question number five. Who has taken over Fuchsia City Gym from Koga in Pokemon Gold and Silver? Jasmine. Nope. Keep going. Uh, hint. Hint. She's Koga's daughter. <sighs> Oh, this is a tough one. Um, I don't know, really. Um, 15 seconds left. I'm trying to think. I never really played second gen all that much. 10 seconds. Um, 5 seconds. I don't know. Two, one time's up. Have you got an answer? No. Oh, so close, so close. The answer is Janine. Janine. Janine is so close with Jasmine, but oh, Janine is the answer. Wow. Oh, you're so close with that. So close. So, unfortunately, you ran out of time on that one, which means today you've got four out of five, which means you've won yourself one Pokemon, which is awesome, but you won't be going in the Hall of Fame today. So, mm. that's unfortunate, but you've, as I said, you've still got yourself one Pokemon, so we're going to go right on to the bonus question. Now, there's no time limit for the bonus question, but I can only take your first answer. So take your time to think about it, think out loud, whatever you want to do. But um, yeah, I can only take your first answer. So, here we go with the bonus question. We're gonna, if you get this right, you get to choose which Pokemon you win. So here we go, bonus question. How many places ending in town or city are there in total in Kanto? Town or city? Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of all the towns, Palatown, Pewter City, Meridian, mm, what's it, Cerulean, Vermilion, Fuchsia, Cinnabar, um, Lavender, Celadon, Saffron, um, I'm gonna go with 10. 10 is unfortunately incorrect. You were so close. The answer is actually 9. Because really? Cinnabar ends in island, not town or city. Ah, oh, okay. So, but all the other ones, you absolutely nailed it. It was Pallet Town, Viridian City, Pewter City, Cerulean City, Vermilion City, Celadon City, Fuchsia City, Saffron City, and Lavender Town. Those were the nine, um, but yeah, unfortunately you were so close that you said Cinnabar, I was like, no, it's so close. But no, unfortunately, you didn't get that one right, but you still win yourself the Pokemon, it's just going to be random. So in right. the giveaway box, I have uh, 24 Pokemon, and uh, I need you to pick three numbers from 1 to 24. These are going to represent three Pokemon that you could potentially win today, and out of those three, you're going to win one. So, three numbers from 1 to 24, please. Okay, I'm going to go with my favorite number, 13. I'm going to go with 24, and obviously 21. 21? 21. Um, so, we've got 13, 24, and 21. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, then. So, number 13 to start with is a... Oh, sorry, is a level 100... Adamant Electivire with Sweet. Motor Drive as its ability with Thunder Punch, Earthquake, Cross Chop, and Rock Slide. And uh, I believe it's been EV trained in Attack and Speed. Uh, nice. So that's number 13. Number 24 <laughs> is a level 100 Magmortar. Um, also good. Very similar. It's a Jolly Nature with Flame Body uh, with Belly Drum, Map Punch, Flare Blitz, and Earthquake. So really interesting sound this Mac Mortar. Mm. Cool. Uh, and the last one is uh, number 21, which is an 
Adamant level 63 Xerneas with Fairy Aura with Gravity, Horn Leech, Moonbluff, and Mega Horn. So, those are the three Pokemon you can win today. As you didn't get the bonus question right, you don't get to choose which Pokemon you win. It's going to be random. So I'm going to mix these Pokemon up, one numbers 1, 2, and 3. And I need you to pick a number, 1, 2, or 3. Uh, I'm going to go with number 3. Number 3. So, today, Connor WTK1, you have won yourself a level 100 Electivire. Nice. Congratulations. So, well done for getting uh, four out of six questions, right? Very, very good effort. You're so close to getting that elusive uh, fifth answer there. You're very close with the bonus question, so great effort on your part. Um, so, congratulations on winning the Electivire. I hope you had fun today. I did have fun. Awesome, that's good. Hopefully you can uh, come back again in the future and uh, maybe get those extra two questions and get inducted into Hall of Fame. Sure thing. Awesome. So, thank you to Connor for coming on this episode. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. Links will be in the description for Connor's channel. Go make, make sure to go check that out. You guys know the deal by now. There's links in the description. Go click them. So, thank you for watching this episode. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next episode of the Rikers, which will be the last episode of Season 1, Episode 25. We'll see you guys then. Toodaloo.